Hello everyone, Basif here, and welcome to the Monday stream. Whoa, looks like the webcam got booped. How's that? How's that? How's that? Mm, um... How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? That's good enough. Good enough. Hello everyone, Basif here. We're going to try something a little bit different today. I'm thinking uh, we're going to kind of do uh, a story kind of game uh, since last week was all rage games uh, and uh, last couple of days were completely unintentional. I did not know they were going to be rage slash pain games. So let's take it down a couple notches and uh, play a fun story kind of game. OK, it's loading up. I was having troubles with it in OBS earlier. So this is called Far From Noise. Um, I avoided as many spoilers as I could, uh, but I did check out just to see a little bit what it was about, and it seemed very interesting. Um, I loved the art, and it seemed kind of cool. Pancake, what's going on? Holla back at you. Thank you for dropping back into the stream. It is always good to see you. Um, as I was just saying, uh, we're going to try something new uh, just to kind of see what this is. Hopefully this is a, a good feels trip for all you guys as well as me uh we can experience this all together um but look at this it, i love the pastel -y colors no oh look at little butterflies uh but let's uh let's get into this i'm still waiting for uh webcam stuff to come in which is why it got bumped i think a dog ran into it so that and a light will hopefully come in this week we got a car on a cliff a sweet treat. Whoa. Hello? Oh, snap! There's a person in there! Can I stop it? Oh! I don't know if I can stop it. Honkhorn. Hello? It's okay. Are you doing alright? Alright, what do we do? Uh, I would not honk the horn. I would be feared of moving. Is anyone there? Can anyone hear me? Can anyone hear me? Er, yeah, well, I guess this is me. I'm in this car. How did I get here? Well, that's besides the point. Uh, what, how would I be responding here? All right, if I say I swerved off the road. Is anyone there? Nah, can anyone hear me? That's probably what I'd say. Just breathe. What's the point? Yep, that'd be me. Just breathe. All right, I should be. I should be reading this. All right. Just breathe. Deep breaths. You'd be panicked and yelling. <laughs> Deep breaths. Yep. In. No sudden movements. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, this would not be a fun place to be, would it? Everything will be all right. This could be worse. Yep, everything will be all right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid reading both the bubbles. Yeah, okay. Story time real quick. Um, so that it's just a cliff, a little bit of sarcasm right there that would be totally me and I here's my proof to that when let's see wow no that's like seven years ago now okay so me and my buddies me and my buddy Nick we're going to pick up my uh, buddy from the airport he was a marine he was on leave for a fourth of July weekend um, he got in really late and it was like two in the morning we were driving on I-25 uh, going 75 miles an hour on the highway and it was super dark out and a freaking deer jumped out right and we hit it smashed into it and we went so it, we were going up a hill and we actually rolled the car right we rolled the car down the hill and as soon as we stopped rolling the first thing out of my mouth was awesome so i am sarcastic to a fault and i know i'd probably say that it's just a cliff 
So fun story there. It's probably not even that steep anyway. <laughs> this one's tough. Or deadly. Definitely not deadly. Undeadly. Alively. I love this game already. Huh. I wouldn't know what a log plume is until I read it just now, so... I'll just drift down like the dainty feather I am. I'm a dainty feather. Oh, it's a she. Okay. Whatever. I'm playing as me. I'll be a dainty feather. Hmm. It's words are Deadpool-esque a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Yeah, I would say this. And with that, she sank into the darkness of the sea. Like a log. Made of bricks. I love the writing. Booter flies. Crap. That'd be me. This is bad, isn't it? Like, actually bad. Seriously awful. I'm going to die before I even moved out. Before I opened the dog cafe. Fuck yeah, that's me. I don't know how to do a backflip. Coffee pup. <laughs> you will live on spirit, coffee pup. Yep. What legacy am I leaving behind? What even is a legacy? All right, all right. Get it together. Legacies don't matter. Unimportant. Not true. I wouldn't be saying that. Might as well enjoy my last moments. It's just me and you. <gasps> Name the car. Yes. Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. The bitter end, Carlos. You rusty death machine. Or the salty end. It's not that bad. Squirrel friend! Don't come jump on my car. Every day I'll wake up. Can't click on him. Stretch my neck. Whew! That bird scared me. Jeez. Your car's name is Kyle? That's my middle name. Crack my back? Yep, that's what I do. Look at the sunrise. Lola. Hmm. What would I do? I don't really think about my life all that much. Kind of same old search. Think about love. <gasps> I'm thinking about love. Is that a... Did I mix like three songs right there? I think I did. I'll just... Oh, wait. Oh, heck yeah. 
I got like most of the toothpaste tube. What? I'll just live with the plants and the animals. Heck freaking yeah. And you, Carlos. You trust the devil. A developing money pit, that sucks. I'll become a map. Oh, I don't really fit any of these. Hmm. Well, if I was to become a musician, I'd want to be a drummer. And considering I'm teetering on the edge of a cliff, and when I drum in my car, I'm like hitting my steering wheel, I think that would be a terrible idea. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I would be a terrible poet. So I guess master of meditation. A mindful art. Oh wait, hold on. Right. A mindful artist of the highest degree. I'll use my powers of enlightenment carefully. And from this one sweet spot. I forget after I'm reading these, but that'll be enough. Is the volume okay, by the way? And then I'll die. Dead and buried at the bottom of the sea. With nothing but failed life and a wet car to leave behind. Oh, failed life, that's sad. Great. Volume's okay? Cool, thank you. Alright, girl. It's time to take action. Hmm. Ocean, I gotta take a rain check on on a rendezvous. Why did I say that with a weird accent? Haha! <laughs> uh... If I tried the ignition, I don't, she said this car was a bucket of rusty bolts. It might shake. So uh, I'm gonna try the radio first. Really? Pancake likes my voice. I have a very melodious voice, huh? <laughs> Hi, Pancake. Purr, purr, meow. All right, I'm gonna try the radio. Alien invasion. Yeah, change station. Hey, it just sounds like louder ocean. Hello. Oh God. Ben. Sabrina, how's it going? I'm liking this groovy music. Welcome to the station, or station, the channel. You're just coming right in, just in time, I think. Believe him, it. Something, something. Any good beats? Get it. Ah. Uh. This would be the last thing you'd want to do. You would not want to be moving right now. I'm a very frightening bean, mom. <laughs> All right, I guess I have to con turn off the radio. I want to know, though. I wonder if there's an achievement or something. I actually like this if it wasn't so... Sounding? It would sound pretty. Calm and free. I'm scared that if I... 
found admirably suited to swamps and twilight. Creepy story. Wow, this is impressive. How many stations are there? Has the sun been going down? Have I not been paying attention? I thought it was up here. Oh, yeah, it's... We've heard them all. Alright, turn off the radio. No! Oh, I thought it was gonna stay on. Like, I would've chose a better station. Guess I'm trying the ignition. Hold your breath, friends. <gasps> okay. Oh! That's good. Damn it. I thought you were done breaking down, Carlos. Can't afford to wait all night this time. Squirrel Fred! Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I acknowledge him. Oh, hello squirrel. Have you come to say hello? Please don't jump on the car. Hello, you need a name. How about... Yes, we're naming him! We're naming him! I'm not a fan of any of these. Sharon. Sharon the squirrel. Oh, Sharon. So small, so carefree. The world is a playground built just for you. Dancing among the leaves, just brushing the surface. Yeah. Oh, Shaz. Shaz has come over to say hello. What? Is that supposed to be she has? Maybe that's supposed to be she has. She has come over to say hello. Hey, Sharon. Oh, no problem, Sabrina. Welcome back. I'm gonna talk already. Okay, getting close to my car. Ah! Oh, Sharon! So zealous, so full of life. Yeah, I'm talking to Squirrel. Have you come to tell me your real name? Is your voice too tiny for ears? You want to talk to a squirrel? <laughs> Squeakity squeak squeakers squeaking. Oh. Oh! Um, watch your step there, Sharona. I just changed her name again. Not exactly glued on here. We could pick this up later. If you like. Sorry if you're not into Sharon. How about Sheena? Or Xena? Mickey, what's going on, my man? Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. I'll just stop talking. Oh, the sun is going down. Look at. Um, 
seen it? Be careful. It's a log drop. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, God. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was saying. Oh, my God. I hate squirrels. <laughs> I got an achievement. Oh. Like, is that it? Sefi, welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. We're going on a little bit of a field trip here. I've never played this. And it's uh, interesting. It's a little different than what we normally do. But thank you for dropping in. Appreciate you being here. Card middle name. Whew, that was scary. An engine failure. A passing squirrel. That's it. Everything just done. Over. I don't know. Maybe this is fine. Maybe this is just how it ends. Oh, appreciate it, Mickey. Thanks so much. It's got to end at some point, right? I'm just skipping the boring bit. Probably. Hey, the music's coming back. Yeah, I have a middle name. Ah, weird leaf. <gasps> Dear friend! Don't you stand in my car. That will fall over. Whoa. Sweet Jesus, look at the size of that thing! <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Antlered champion of the woods. He could throw me off this cliff in a heartbeat. Hey, don't ram me, Antlered. Don't ram me, <laughs> Antlered Wood Boy. <laughs> I'm not but a lonely soul. I love the writing in this. This is great. <coughs> Can you hear me? Do we get to name the deer? We got to name the squirrel. I'll take that as a no. Oh, I like that spelling of Lauren. That's pretty. Unless he's ignoring me. Before he antlers me into oblivion. I'd ignore me if I were him. Serves me right for intruding, I guess. Intruding? Alright, I hope it explains how I got here. It moved! My dear friend. You're pretty. Look how pretty this game is. Hey, buddy. You know, just to chill out with me? That's cool. I'll tell you my life story. Kind of boring. What are you looking at, dear? You see something? 
Checking out the birds. Air court, nice. Or just being wistful. Being wistful is fun. It's a fun word. Wistful. That's cool with me. I'll talk to you as I'm hanging out on the edge of this cliff. Until he antlers me. <laughs> uh... Okay, how about I respond right now? Like, uh... What are you doing? You... Don't! Don't! Dude, you're cool, but holy crap, you're gonna knock me over. Yeah. I mean, that'd be cool in every other circumstance. But would be like, you can't let me move. I'm going to fall. Sorry for being here. It was an accident. No problem, Sabrina. Can I help you, bud? I mean, I I'm kind of stuck. But at least I'll offer. Plenty of grass around here. Perhaps. Whoa, did he speak? Whoa! Okay, that's my reaction. Whoa! That's awesome! Did you just talk? Oh, we gotta give him a voice. There are none happiest in the world. But those who enjoy the freely of vast horizon. Uh, I would say I think I need to check up from the neck up. That's cool. My speech bubbles are here and his speech is down here. That's neat. Right. So can you hear me? It's a druid. New Tarn Druid, that's what he is. Got the antlers. I can. Holy God! Well, my mind melted sooner than I expected. Something like something I'd say. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The feeling reciprocates. We've met on a significant day, woodland boy. Significant how? I'm glad you asked. Today, I've decided to go insane. Is that so? It is so. And how did you decide? Decide what? To go insane. Firstly, I drove off a cliff. Secondly, secondly, I talked to a deer. And I talked to a squirrel first. Thirdly, thusly, yet to be written. Uncharted. Uncharted. The vast unknown in which I befriend an elk. That'd be awesome. And then die. Not an elk. Sorry? Er, uh, what were you saying about horizons? Zero Dawn? There are none happiest in this world. But those who enjoy freely a vast horizon. I don't think this qualifies for freedom or happiness. Your soul is free to follow the flow of the ocean's tide. Um. Yeah, that's what I'd say. You've got a funny idea of free, my hoop friend. You are alive. For now. You have an ocean of possibility before you. You mean the ocean? The, the, the literal ocean? 
funny, dear. Well, you have both. But the feeling of looking deeply across an ocean, there is no parallel. The pulse of the tide. The sigh of the breeze. Captivating elusive horizon. You have simply been gifted an anchored perspective. You're funny. Fortunate, I would even say. I admire your optimism. I really do. But it's too late for that. I've already checked out. You seem to still be clutching on to me. This isn't about life, it's about death. It's an, it's an interesting, isn't it, Mickey? Does it have to be? I'm not sure it's optional. I trust we will find out. You're a real beacon of hope you are. <laughs> Is there a reason not to be? Oops, gone. No, I don't know. Neither of these. I would actually have a sarcastic comment in this situation. Welcome back, Sabrina. Yeah, I would have a different response. I guess I'll go with... What the heck am I supposed to be hopeful for now? Getting out of your current situation. Assuming that is your ambition. The talking to the deer situation? It is a situation with a conclusion. Don't conclude by pushing me off the cliff. The conclusion is not out of your control. Can I ask you something? Potentially. Am I hallucinating? That is not for me to say. Or no. Well, are you real? As far as I can tell. Perhaps you are a hallucination of mine. Oh shit, metagaming. Who can say? You're not helping, buddy boy. How close to the edge am I? I wateringly so. Do I want to know what's at the bottom? Nothing out of the ordinary. Rocks. Water. Waves. I love all those things! <laughs> Great! Fantastic, in fact. Call them my children. Try to calm yourself. What do you suggest? First, take a moment. Hey. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's this, the waves kicked back in. Is it zooming in? Close your eyes. Feel that power. Anyone get the reference? Oh, okay. Stop making jokes, Vasive, because cool stuff is happening. Inhale deeply. All together now. How long? Count backwards from five. Three, two, one. This is hard to narrate while doing it. At zero, ex exhale. What is this? This weird split of the screen is weirding me out. Is this supposed to be the focus? Like you're squinting? <sighs> I 
Alright. That did help. It's like he's teaching how to... Calm anxiety and nerves. That's cool. Wonderful. You can gain clarity and perspective when you slow your thoughts. It's true. To a glacial pace. Juvie TV! Hold on a second. Now. What are you going to do? Um, it's an interactive game. I'm not quite sure. It's not a game. It's a wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. It's so pretty, though. Um, so last week... Uh, we played pretty much all Rage and Pain games, so I wanted to kind of switch things up a little bit and try something uh, as a relax kind of thing. And uh, this looked interesting, so I decided to pick it up. Alright, what are we going to do? So what would I do in this situation? I guess just sit here. Sitting and waiting for something to happen to you. You will undoubtedly wait for quite some time, or quite some time. I've got time. You might not have all the time you would think. I thought you were making me feel better. Is it just me? Oh, jeez. seem like he's gonna betray the oh. fuck out of you? Pancake scared the shit out of me. I can't even read it. Certainly not always. I didn't even see what he was saying. Oh my god, you scared me. But perhaps now. Noted and appreciated. This is a chill game, and you scared me. Try reversing. Yep, try reversing. <laughs> okay, bad idea. Now it's red smoke. That did not sound quite like the correct noise. The radio is sort of weird. That was absolutely the incorrect noise. What is the problem? The engine's dead. So you're trapped in that contraption. Um, this contraption has a name. It's Carlos. No, it does this. Perhaps not wise to coast so close to the coast. Thanks for the timely advice. It is the least I can do. It's a bit late for it though, literally. You could get me a latte. I'd be down for that. Aside from that. A back rub? Not quite so pleasant as you envision. I do not have the tools required. Fine, don't grant my dying wish. You are not dying. I'm pretty close to death, my friend. What can you do to distance yourself from death? Wait, I guess? But what? Wait for the engine to cool down. Hmm. Wait for the engine to fix itself. Time may not be on your side in this case. Yeah, can they can't fix themselves. How long must we wait? Pretty much overnight. A night is a long time to wait when you stare death in the eye. Comforting. Perhaps you should explore other avenues of escape. Like what? Have you considered... Getting out? Well... No. A viable option. Yeah, easy breezy, you're on the right side of misfortune. You are not a world away. Uh, Alright. I would actually try to get out. But I don't know if that's going to end the game. Jeez! Those are so loud now. How did those get so loud? 
He's already dead, and this is just him in limbo because you felt you hadn't done enough in your life, and the animals represent your conscience in the last second of your life before you end trapping you here until you come to a conclusion. I would totally be okay with that. If I had animals at my deathbed, totally okay. I don't know, I'm flipping a coin. A coin? <laughs> That's how I live my life. Don't judge me, I'm indecisive. Yep. Indecision, I suppose, comes from fear. Oh, snap. Talking the real truths. Fear of making the wrong decision. If you consider the possibility that there is no wrong decision. That the choice you make is the correct one. Whoa. Because you made it. The sun is gone. Perhaps that makes your choice easier. And that's the whole point of the coin flip. I'm trusting the outcome because a higher power has decided for me. The higher power may know best. All right. Heads I'm out, tails I'm in. Flipping coin. What are we doing, guys? It was tails. The coin hath spoken. You, me, Carlos, and the cliff. Looks like we're here for the long run. No, 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 no. Son of a butt sack. I would really love to enjoy this right now because it's so pretty, but holy crap, it's scaring me. Missed your chance. <laughs> No, 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 no. Is that the end? No way. Did I just end the game? I didn't know there would be like an end like that. I thought you, whatever decision you made, you would still go to an end. I like the music. Oh, it's not over. Okay. My dear friend. So, you're out here all by yourself? That was a big cliff. All alone? I am solitary in form. No little antlered friends? No. Just you? Just I. Nobody else. Nobody else. Why? Why not? Well. Do you not get lonely out here by yourself? Is that not a question you should be asking yourself? Oh, is that not a question you should be asking yourself? You too saw solitude in these cliffs. Well, it's different. How so? Well, I'll tell you later. Anyway, I totally asked you. Question dodger. If I am lonely. Ah, uh, no more lonely than single dandelion standing in a field then a drop of rain falling from a cloud 
than this world. A bead of blue melting in the time. <laughs> Do you ever answer questions in a normal way? I only answer questions in a normal way. Do you? Okay, let's practice. Didn't spell that right. Practice. You ask me and I'll answer normally. As you like. Do you get lonely out here? Thanks for asking, bro. I've been out here for years, kiddo. <laughs> He's clips in me. Yeah, we go way back. I was cruising around these cliffs before these antlers peeped the sky. Oh, I'm supposed to be saying in his vo voice. I should be emulating him. I don't get lonely because I'm grumpy and trees are enough. Sarcastically do a terrible impression of him. That was normal. Pretty much. What did you think? The point was mostly that. What was your point exactly? The point was that I am no more lonely than the single dandelion in the field. The solitary, alone, lonely dandelion. The dandelion in the field does not feel lonely, for it is part of the field. But it's all alone. Alone and lonely are quite different. That's true. Huh? I seek the solitude like the sun seeks the horizon. My infatuation with this form, with the forms of the world compels me to it. I guess I came out here for a piece of that too. Whatever that is. I may have an idea what that is. I'm listening. Jump scare. <laughs> Probably shit my pants. On endless days, I find myself beside the sea. That text fits perfectly. While ocean tides lays across the shore. The waves take hold of my soul. And the world drifts away to the days, to our days. Call your woodland creatures to all land on my bumper. It'd be great. In these quiet moments. Is not the sea a part of me and my soul? As I of it? It's hard to read this well because it disappears once it finishes. Our souls are as one. I have never been less alone. Man, this is beautiful.
Man, this game is totally like just chilling me out. I like it. Talking normally didn't work out, did it? <laughs> I will leave that to you. Probably a good idea. Agreed. For real though, I kind of see where you're coming from. Conceptually. Now here you can feel connected to everything. And feel like you belong in the world. I don't know if I'm capable of what belonging in the world. I think that's what they're saying. I don't know if I'm capable of belonging in the world. I don't know if I want to also I don't know if I want to actually belong in the world. Kind of like being unique or different. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, dude. It, keyboard. Okay. There's still time to allow yourself to feel your roots in the earth. Maybe you're right. This place might have some answers for me. What did bring you here? Will you tell me now? I guess it I guess it is later now. All right then. So, background check. Yes. I was studying. The study of what? I like how the deer's looking up. Marine biology, heck freaking yeah. The ocean. Sweet mother ocean. And all her kitties. Oh, I like the music right now. Fish kitties. And sweet mother ocean is your true calling? I think so. Kind of impossible to know, right? It is more feeling than a knowing. Yeah, I guess so. When did you start to feel it? I feel like I should be lying on a sofa talking about this. <laughs> you could lie down. Son of a butt sack! <laughs> ha! That's alright, Dr. Deer. So, I can kind of pinpoint where my aquatic obsession started. Yes. Alright, so when I was a kid, we went on this trip. Just a holiday, visiting beaches somewhere hot and... Europe-y. That's funny. Normally I'd go out swimming with one my dad, but this one time I went solo. You were what age? I was just a little girl. So there's me swimming along with these massive goggles on and... Massive goggles on, looking for all the bright little fish in the rocks. No! Whoops. When I see these teeth sticking out from between the rocks. Ooh, snap. Teeth. Uh huh. Teeth. Thick. They're thin, spiky teeth slowly opening and closing. <laughs> It's probably an eel. Like this nightmare face laughing at me underwater. Swam back so fast. It was kind of amazing. And that inspired you. Teeth. Honestly, scared the living daylights out of me. I had nightmares for years. Oh, 
Oh, did you get a clip? Thanks, Sabrina. But at the same time, I'm so fascinated by it. This horror movie monster was living down there this whole time. That's fake. No one sees it. And for like the longest time, I couldn't stop thinking about it. How many other weirdo creatures are down there, you know? Quite a few, actually. Did you ever discover what the creature was? Pretty sure it was an eel. They're totally harmless. Darkness, the most innocent creatures, become a hellhound. A hellfish. <laughs> a hellfish! Yep. A hellfish. But like, the hellfish had seized my youthful mind. Went crazy over it. Read a million books. Totally obsessed over whales. Heck yeah, whales are awesome. Whales? Yeah, these are, hmm. Which one do I like? God, yeah. You know the hearts are the size of this car? Quite the heart. I know, right? It's crazy. I love it. It's so mysterious. So you dedicated your life in a search of solving the ocean's mysteries. You could say that. I could. Well, I was studying all this. I see. And then I wasn't... I left. You left? Studying the reason... Studying the mysteries of life. <laughs> I guess that's ongoing. I left university. I was so itchy. Hello, meaningless loans. Yep, that's about right. What led you to leave? I don't know. I just didn't feel like I could do it. Like, I'd waited for such a long time. And when it came, it was so overwhelming. It wasn't what I had managed. And I didn't feel like I could do it anymore. Maybe I'm not smart enough. But if you never went, what difference would it make? What else am I going to do? You would figure it out. How? Whatever you are meant to do would make itself clear. Fall off this cliff? Perhaps that is it. Why not make this meaningful? I can't just... Decide to give things meaning. Surely, surely that is all you can do. Then everything is meaningless. It only means nothing if you dream it so. Or if you deem it so. So it all meant me dying in a car. It all meant something. But for now, perhaps it means watching the sunset on the edge of a cliff. I like this deer. Why did you come here? To see the waves and hope my life becomes clear? I thought if I looked out, I'd feel like everything matters. And does it? I don't know. It does not always work that way. 
I find some of the most important realizations come not in the moment, but after. In normality. And your mind wanders back to this place, then perhaps you will find clarity in the clouded times. Well, if the engine eventually works, maybe I'll find out. Precisely. Life is not over. I suppose. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to it. If I get the chance. Where were we? Life. Life. Are you ready to bear witness to life's conclusion? Who is to say it concludes? You mean the afterlife? A new beginning, perhaps. It's the beginning of being dead. Which isn't much of a start. It could be. Who's to say? Who indeed? You? Are you like the angel of death or something? What do you think? I don't know what to think anymore. You're baffling, dear. We never gave him a name. Are you an angel? Of course I am, girl. Look at me. In every sense of the world, no. <laughs> Why did you choose this place? Hidden away, lost in space. We used to come out here when I was a kid. I've always loved the cliffs. I would count how many faces I could see in the rocks. <laughs> Mostly dog faces. Mostly dog faces. Little rock pups! Actually, I just stopped coming out this far for a while. Because I would get too sad that the puppies I could see were trapped forever. Oh, that's sad. And I'd never rescue them. Oh, this is sad. I think my dad was worried I was going to jump over after them. He was right to be afraid. I kind of just wanted to see if I could still spot them. Memories can house great comforts. Sure can. They can cause great pain too. Have you seen them? I don't really want to look. To be honest, Circumstances aside, just being here is enough. Do what, Sabrina? Where are you going, dear friend? Are these fireflies down here? Being so sad. <laughs> hey, it's getting dark. Look, it's purple. Hey, Black, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. We're taking a little bit of a... deviation from the normal channel, playing a chill game. This is an interactive story. Uh, I'm actually really loving it. I hope you guys are, too. 
What is it? A traveler approaches. What? Where? Oh my gosh, a turtle friend! Look! Turtle! Turtle! It came from the rocks and the flowers. The birthplace of all evil. <laughs> I don't see anything. Why would you say crap? That's amazing. Oh, I see it! I can tell if it's a moving if it's a moving rock or a turtle. <laughs> he can't see you because the heart rate monitor. Here. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> there, can you see it? It's a Michelangelo turtle. Or not a Michelangelo, a Donatello. Did I say Donatello? Leonardo, dude, come on, know your freaking Ninja Turtles. It's a Leonardo painting a Leonardo. See, it makes me happy. I love him. All right, back to normal. Blam. All right. I believe it is a tortoise. Close enough. Makes me all shivery just looking at it. Look how pretty it's gotten again. No, I love them. No, I don't like any of these. No. I don't like any of these. I'm upset. I like turtles. Cowering in a shell of deceit. Tales of our endeavors. Hey, thank right. you for the host. Appreciate it, Black. Always do. You're hiding something. All of them. I want to pet him. Pet, pet the tortoise. I'm on to you, tortoise. Why do you hate the tortoise? I have my reasons. Whoops. Clicked outside the game. It means no harm. Look at it. You don't seem like them like I have. They're vicious. Okay, maybe my character has a reason to not like them. Vicious? Vicious! I was traumatized as a child, alright? By a tortoise. Turtle. Uh, it is 8 o'clock for me, Black. Dang it. Different entirely. You know what their mouth is called? You know what their mouth is called? A beak. <laughs> That's awesome. When I was like 9, my brother's friend brought his new fun pet around our house. Fun little baby turtle. How fun. Imagine my delighted anticipation. Until I see it. Snarling beak snapping open and closed like garden shears. So they forced me to grab hold of its spiny husk. Its long snake neck wriggles out and twists around. And it bites me! There and then right on the arm. I had to go to the hospital. The baby turtle bite that hard? I had to go to hospital. Ew. 
and it was a baby. Imagine what I can do now. It would slice my arm clean off. Mamas, you're making chompy noises. This little one does not look like it knows violence. How can you say that? Look at it! They're masters of illusion. Cuteness is a veil. Frog friend! I like frogs too. Oh my gosh, look it! It says what I just said! Oh hey look! Frog friend! <laughs> that makes me happy. A secret meeting. Be careful, Frogger, they're not too. <laughs> not very secret, guys. We can see you. Oh, my God. It's like a turtle taxi. <laughs> I like this game. It's different. I love that so much. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. I love that so much. You think they're dating? I'm crying. The world is a beautiful place sometimes. Turtle taxi achievement, that's funny. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta read these. Is it dark or the shadow of death finally upon me? Death's silhouette stretches to the edge to consume us. I'm not creeped out at all. I said it would consume us. Collective. Less scary. Oh, that is sweet. I think. Oh man, look at the stars. Which is funny because I almost said that. I don't remember the last time I saw this many. I missed Turtle Friend. You never see the stars. Where I live, you're lucky if you see the moon. Nope. That must be isolating. Any more than choosing to live alone. How could I be alone when I have of these stars? Nothing makes me feel lonelier. Look at all of them twinkling up there. In the ocean of space. And I'm down here. On a rock. Oh, but the stars are here with us, you see. They share the night with us. But why bother? Why should it mean anything? They're too far away to matter. You can just appreciate things. Distance is nothing. Whoa, starting over. Distance is nothing. They are as much as... Dang it! 
think. Does anything offer the same tranquility? Yeah, very little. I want to see the northern lights at some point. That would be amazing. Nothing lulls the soul lost in the reverie of the stars. Alright, I want to know what the wavy stuff is. Shards of glitter and glass suspended over us. Yeah, they're beautiful. Just isolating. Try this. Focus your guys on a single star. Alright. Sure, focus. The super bright one that was there. All right, I found a bright one. Yep. Okay. No problem, Black. Oh, my lights are coming on. Meditate on this. In this fragment of time, what magnificent beings on the various planes of the universe? are pondering this exact same star in this exact same moment. Yeah, everyone says that. <laughs> I just think it's pointless to think about. I actually like thinking about that kind of stuff. They'll never know me. I'll never know them. Would it make a difference? Maybe. It's alright. I think I like feeling lonely anyway. Weirdly, it is nice being here. Sometimes I feel crushed. Like they're closing in. I like watching the fireflies, but... Tonight's different. Quite the night. Sure is. Wait, where's the moon at? Behind you. Just out of sight. Ain't that just the way? On countless evenings past, I have found myself here. Gazing up at the moon. Lost. Weightless. Suspended in time. All the while the stag in the moon gazes back. The stag in the moon? The stag in the moon. You do not know it. I think you mean the man in the moon. The man in the moon? That's clever stag in the moon. I suppose we all see a reflection of ourselves in the face of the moon. Huh. But it's the Sandman? Huh, maybe you're right. Perhaps. Perhaps? I wonder what the moon thinks of us. From up there, we must seem a me mesmerizing unknown just the same. Probably thinks we're idiots. It's probably not wrong. What would you do if I bought three hundred dollars eight worth or three hundred eight dollars worth of bits and gave them to you right now? I would say, holy crap, Sabrina. And then I'd also say, if you do that, or don't put yourself in any sort of financial bind. No impulse buying. We used to come out here and make up constellations when we were when we were younger. Constellations? Yeah, you know, stories in the stars. Stories in the stars. Say what? 
Okay, so there's a ton of real constellations. This is made by a European. That's why the spellings are weird. Dreamed up by a bunch of skeletons. But they're kind of dated. I see. There's stories told in pictures dotted in the stars. Oh. Tales of adventures and philosophers mapped out in the sky. Exactly. Let's see if I can remember any of ours. Direct your eyes to Zowie the acrobat. Actually, I can't think of any. Obviously, there's Avery the Queen of Steel. Yes. Queen of Steel. Quite the title. Oh, cool. Look at it. It drew a constellation. My personal favorite. She was bigger than a boulder with the gaze of pure steel. Sweet! With her steely vision, she could transform anything she wished into pure, glistening steel. Impressive. Yep. However, however all was not well. It was not. Despite how tirelessly people worshipped her. For her steel or for her beauty. For her steel. She wanted to be left alone. She greatly disliked them all. She wanted to be left alone. Why? They just didn't vibe with her. She was the queen of steel. Is that a reason? Yeah, that's what I was just wondering. You, you just can't match up to the queen of steel. Or the steel queen. So, in an effort to hide away from her raging fandom, she turned an entire forest to steel and took refuge within. Yes, that's fine, Sabrina. That is fine. Also a leopard. Ooh, leopard called Rama. After many blissful months of peace, despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, her followers found her and began throwing themselves once more at her steel-clad feet. Praise the Steel Queen, they would chant. One night when the stars were glistening brightly across Rama's back, the Steel Queen decided to end the parade. Oh no! Bit, I do already have 10 cookies for free. Thank you for them 10 cookies, Sabrina. I appreciate you. You are amazing. Thank you so much. The Steel Queen decided to end the parade. She commanded the brightest star in the sky to turn into steel. Whoa. Forming a perfect image of herself in the heavens. See how much larger this new steel queen was. The relentless followers turned their chance at the sky. Heck yeah. She's gonna get lonely now, isn't she? The end. I am spoiled. You guys spoil me. <laughs> I shall never look at those stars the same way. Tell me, what others do you know? Well. There's the worm. The worm? Yeah. Um, look at him. Immortalized in the stars because it was the... Uh, um... The first worm. The first worm. Yeah, first worm. Worm Zero. From where did this first worm descend? Or ascend. 
Ew, it fell out of someone's ear. It grew from a seed. It grew from a seed. A seed worm. Exactly. Am I lying to the deer now? And so it traveled across the globe. Singing its worm lullaby into the soil. And planting new worms in every continent. What became of the first worm? No one knows! <laughs> Some say that the moon is waning. Some say, oh, when the moon is waning. As thin as a worm. If you press your ears to the soil, you can l hear the lullaby of the first worm. Softly humming through the ground. At the, at the next worm moon, I shall listen. Excellent. What other legends linger in the stars? Good question. Uh, I'm, I'm out of ideas. I see something. What is it? Enid. 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 Just Enid. Should it be Enid to something? Doesn't have to be. Just Enid then. Cool. Who was she? A great philosopher. Of course she was. She was an expert in silence. <laughs> like a mime? <laughs> was she a monk? Perhaps. A silent monk philosopher. It was by choice, her eternal silence. Well, she could talk. She could. How could anyone tell? It would is obvious. In place of words, she chose thought. She considered a con considered concepts so grand. She fathomed abstractions so unfathomable. It's a hard word to say. Unfathomable. Ideas so spectacular and utterly groundbreaking. That one day she literally broke the ground and was swallowed by the resulting crevice crevasse. Holy crap. Her brain power broke the ground. Dude. It is customary to stay silent when observing the Enid formation. Out of respect and admiration. That is a cool one! My bad. Sorry, Enid. Is it cold out? Bird! Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. What the? Look at what's going on over here. I saw a shadow. Then a wing. It was massive! What do you think it was? A bird of the dark. I would say an owl. I was going to say pterodactyl, but yours makes more sense. An owl! An owl. You do not understand how I feel about owls. Feathered twilight angels, okay. <laughs> They're just so 
beautiful and enigmatic. Yep. Owls are pretty sweet. Do you want to know a fun fact about owls? Yes. Their eyes aren't normal eyes. They're like tubes. Basically binoculars. It's so they can focus in on little mice from insane away. That cloud is weird me out. It's so cool. I wish I had binocular eye tubes. Is that thunder? You know a great deal about owls. Ha! <laughs> yeah. I used to be an owl girl. Owl girl? At school, I was a total owl weirdo. I used to have this owl backpack, so everyone called me Owl Girl. That's adorable. There are worse titles. I know! It was a cute backpack, too. Damn it! I meant to do the backpack one. You asked me what about it, and I was like, Owls are cool, okay? I wasn't really doing myself any favors, I guess. Owls are fascinating and complex. I have lost many a night to the intrigue following the moonlit escapades of an owl. Yes! High five! Cool, dear. Sounds like a storm is rolling in. Well, never mind. Mental high five. Psh. I... Oof? Doggo. Hi. Man, I wish you were around when I was in school. Kids would uh, be like, Hey, owl girl! And you could just hoof them in the face. <laughs> hoof them in the face. If you like. Excellent! I can see it now. <laughs> Hoof. Come here, doggo. Come here, Jada. Bird! Owl! Friend! Hey, that was it again! I got a pretty decent look at it this time. It is massive. My nose is itching like crazy. I think it's a great horned owl. How do you know? So it's horns. They're feathery ear tufts. Ah, do you think it's hunting us? It is most likely attempting to make sense of this picture. I would imagine it to be an odd one from above. It's an odd one from down here. <laughs> Man, it could definitely just slap me off this cliff with one wing. Please don't, blessed owl. I had a backpack for you. <laughs> Love it. An ironic fate for an owl girl. Ha! Huh. Check you out with the jokes. Are you gonna come over here? You gonna come and snuggle? Jokes about my death. Smooth. Come on, doggo. Here, I'll move it. Okay, okay, okay. Hi. How are you? That's a good doggy. That's a good day dust. People imagine owls to be- Oh wait, this is me. People imagine owls to be these stern, intense loner birds. In reality, owls are probably pretty chill. It's not their fault they've got binocular eyes. An owl's business is that of mystery. Oh, don't knock me over. Don't knock me over. Is it? Oh, sun's rising now, I think. Crap. It's on the car. Just don't punch anything, Jada. I can hear its feet. 
It has landed. On you. Oh my god, what's it doing? Studying. Surveying the area. Why did it have to land on me? If this was any other situation, this literally be my fantasy. It means no harm. It surveys. It's gonna survey my death if it makes any drastic movements. <laughs> yeah, this is a jada. No, don't kick things. Just sit tight and wait. It will leave. Yeah, wait. Not honking the horn. That's rude. I got an owl. Can't see anything anymore. There you go. Bye, owl friend. Oh, wow. bloody hell. Damn. That was kind of amazing and kind of terrifying. In my experience, the greatness, the greatest emotions are felt in the moments of fear and awe. I would probably agree with you there. Although I could do without anything else sitting on the car tonight. Tonight? Oh wait, tonight? Anything can happen. Seems like it, buddy. Feathered Twilight Angel achievement. No! Jada! Jada! You're punching things. There we go. Good doggo. I don't know anymore, dear. Are you trying to rotate? Do you? Eh. Here, I'll help you. Eh. Eh. There you go. You stay right there. Do you? Oh, wait. Do you? Do I what? Do you know? Do I know what? I don't know. Then neither do I. I'm trying to stay positive. Really am. But I can't help feeling like the universe doesn't want me here. If it did not, do you think you would be? Maybe it's nothing to do with anything. Maybe it's all random and nothing scares. I don't even know what if that's worse. I guess at least then it's not intentional punishment. Hello, friend. Hey, Rooster, what's going on, my man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate you being here. We're going on a story trip here. It's kind of cool. I'm liking it. It's just bad luck. What is it? Wait. Yep, I was right. There was rain coming in. This is going to be great. You've got to be kidding me. All right, everything I said before about things being bad. They were fine. Now they're bad. The beauty was just getting started. What? What is more beautiful than this? Literally anything else. But is anything more mesmerizing? Then the transformation brought by the rain. Puppies! <laughs> yes, puppies. Anything! 
Life would be nothing without beauty. Well, we're not going to be alive to see it. Push the car, Moose. <laughs> that is a stag, my friend. You worry about death while life ignites around you. And I'm in the car. He's been our dear friend. He's been talking to us this whole time. This is the fire of beauty that rages from the earth. Whoa. Serenity lay in wait to be ripened, ripped apart from the wildest form. Torrents of exhilaration pour from the sky. Quake shake the ocean to the cry out. Blistering crescendo from every form of life. All are thrust from rest to revel, uh, revel in violent beauty. Nothing sleeps while nature takes its fiercest dance. Whoa. <laughs> He's gonna freak out. I feel like I should be terrified. But I'm not. I don't know what to feel. How do I know it's a stag? Because he said he was. I like the light the lightning is doing. It actually changes the shadows. It's super cool. I mean, I suppose that's simple enough to do, but it's a nice touch for a single person developer to do. Wouldn't this be loosening the cliff, which sounds dangerous? Right about now, you'd probably want to try to be getting out of the car. I mean, you should have been doing that earlier, but now stuff is in trouble. Okay, it stopped. Just got another achievement called Wildest Form. The sky and the sea are blending into each other now. Have you ever seen anything like that? While I have seen storms, there are never two quite the same. I feel like I can still feel it shaking the ground. We're still here. Sun's rising quick. Holy cow. Yeah, car. Now the sun's coming up. Thus lifts the veil of night. I can't believe you've been here for the entire night. It's putting you to sleep. <laughs> you and I are invincible. Oh, hi, doggo. Jeez. Really? Okay. 
Honestly, I don't even feel like the same person. I came out here so worried about what I'm supposed to do. But it all seems so inconsequential now. It's all so pointless. Which is actually a relief. The waves will keep on crashing after I'm gone. That tree will still be clinging on. Even if I never come back. If I never came here in the first place. That consistency is so grounding. Like, it doesn't matter what I do in the future. It doesn't make a difference. Yes, the ocean is beautiful. Maybe I'll be buried in it tomorrow. But it's pretty okay now. It's nice to just have that right now. Holy crap, sorry. Ooh, apologize. I know this cliff will still be here, even if I left. Just being here, away from everything else. Even remembering that it's here. It's like so soaking up a sponge with the horizon and the clouds and everything. And then just taking it away. Leaving. Knowing that it all carries on. Are you leaving? Hey, where are you going? He's gonna push me off the cliff. He didn't even respond. Don't leave. I'm still stuck here. My dear friend. He just left without even saying goodbye. Just us, Carlos. Want to give it another shot? Oh god, the cliff's gonna break. I'm gonna fall to our doom. Was that fade out supposed to be that we fell from the cliff? Sabrina's drunk. No!
Did I actually get out? Because I didn't hear... No, the engine didn't turn over. Did I die? I think I died, guys. Oh, no. How good, Jada. Hi. Holy crap. Okay. Um... That just happened. I don't know what to do about it anymore. I really liked that. And I was very, that was very different from what I've normally done, played in any game. I was a, how would we phrase it? An interactive experience, maybe? I kind of liked that. That was fun. Yeah, Emerson, Muir, and Zero. That was awesome. What'd you guys think of that? Was that interesting? Was that something like that you'd like to see every now and then? The interactive experience kind of thing? I think that's the best way to phrase it. Yeah, Dragon Cancer is uh, actually on my wish list. I want to pick that up. Looks really good, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to wreck me. So I have to be in the mood and being able to handle that one. We just sit here? Or is it gonna take me to a loading screen? That was really cool though. I liked that. I liked that a lot. It was a nice change of pace, especially from all those rage games that we've been playing. Oh boy. Hi doggo. Am I supposed to do anything? Okay, I clicked. White screen. That was it. All right, that was actually kind of cool. Two hours. Not bad. I like that. All right. Uh, I guess we have a couple hours of stream time left. That was cool. I liked that. Let me know what you guys thought of it. My uh, stuff is not open properly. Sabrina's going crazy over here. Are you okay, Sabrina? I'm assuming someone's on your phone slash keyboard. Okay, so now we have two hours left of stream to do. Um... I'm not sure what we can do here. Here, let's... We can just round off the stream. See if I can get a pull up real quick. To a speeding stop and gets out with her right... Stop auto-playing, Twitch. I don't like it. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, I think I can do a pull here. How did I do that? I figured that out somewhere. Your cat was on your keyboard? That's what was happening. It's okay. Was it Angelo? Wait a minute. Where did, uh... Oh, it moved. Okay. Um, here, let's do this. Mama! That's gross! Stop it! Yucko doggo. Making slurpy noises. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. Uh... I actually don't know how to do it. How do I get a pull up? Hey, it pulls up. Do you guys see that? I hope that wasn't there for the whole freaking stream. That'd be annoying. 
But uh, you guys can go ahead and vote real quick. And uh, we'll play whatever you guys vote on there. Put in an unrecognized command. <laughs> He's trying to be his own mod. Uh, but there's a... Actually, you know what? If I kill stream... It was up there the whole stream? That's obnoxious as hell. I thought it would only be up if I made a poll. Oh, but you can close it. Okay. That makes me feel better. Okay, I feel slightly better. Although I don't know how to know the results. Okay. This thing is... I don't like that. Okay, I'm getting rid of that extension. I'm not a fan of it. But... Because we have two hours left of stream... We may, uh... Oh. Did Sora Scree subscribe? No, because it would have done damage to Katsumi. Huh. I don't understand. This is weird. I don't like these uh, extensions. I'm going to disable that one because it's driving me crazy. I don't like that being there. Let's go to this. And disable. There. Done. Okay. Good enough. Alright, my dudes. Uh, so we're gonna actually continue the stream. Um, but... Since... Uh, so we're gonna actually continue uh, the stop stream. Stop with the... Stop it. Duh. Don't auto-play. I wish you'd just stop that. Um, we'll continue the stream after this, but, uh, since we finished the game, I'm going to bounce the stream, I'm gonna turn it off, and we'll start it back up again, because I hate breaking up the videos on YouTube, it's terrible. Um, but, I'm gonna bounce it, I'm gonna feed the dog, so I will be back in five, ten minutes. Hi, doggo. You want some foodies? You hungry? You wanna go party? Yes. It's your favorite time. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, hold it. Oh, jeez. Yes. Let's go get some dinner. Go ahead, doggo. Uh, but we'll be right back, friends. Hopefully, uh, you feel so inclined to stick around. Let me know what you thought of, uh, that interactive experience if, uh, you want to see more of that. Um, uh, you know, feel free to DM me or message me or whatever you want. Um, uh, but... I'm always looking at ways to keep you guys entertained as well as improve the channel and stuff like that. But stick around for five or ten minutes. I'm going to go turn off the stream. I will be right back after I feed the puppers and uh, we'll be playing something else. All right. See ya.